Ooh, I love this makeover. This cabinet was at the thrift store for $25, but the paint job just wasn't up to my liking. So we took it all apart, but the drawer was sticking. So I put wax on it where it rubbed against things when I was opening and closing it. And now it works great. And then I sanded out the brush marks and the paint drips with 150 grit sandpaper and then again with 220 grit sandpaper. I didn't care for the V shape of the bottom of this cabinet, so I cut it off with my jigsaw. And then I primed everything with clear shellac to prevent bleed through stains from coming through my new paint job. And then I primed it with a black primer to give me better coverage. Since I sanded half of the old paint off, you would have been able to see all of the raw wood spots compared to the spots with paint on them still. Then I painted the cabinet with Heirloom Traditions all-in-one paint in the color Weather Vane. This is a paint that has excellent adhesion, amazing durability, and it dries in a satin sheen. And no, no one is paying me to say any of that. This was my second time using it, and this time I tried spraying it to get a really nice finish. I was really nervous that it would have a lot of texture in it because of how it looked when I sprayed it on, but it leveled out really nicely while it dried. I sanded it with 220 grit sandpaper between coats to make everything feel super soft and then I sprayed on the second and final coat of paint. Then I cut and glued a bunch of popsicle sticks onto the drawer with some Gorilla Glue. I clamped some wood onto the sticks overnight and then the next day I cut the sticks off with my multi-tool. It took a few tries to get all the sticks to stay on but I finally got it. Then I filled the gaps in with wood filler and sanded it smooth. And then I top coated the popsicle sticks with a matte top coat. Then I put everything back together and here's what it looks like now. I love it, what do you think? I don't know if I would do the herringbone thing again, that was a lot of work, but I'll definitely be spraying this paint again. It sprayed so well and looks and feels so smooth. That's it for me today, I'll catch you next week. Not sure what supplies you need for your furniture flip? We got you. Click the link in my comment to download our free list of must-have supplies that we use every day to paint furniture.